Hey y'all, so good morning. I give Denim a bath. Ooh, ooh. So good morning. <laughs> she looked really dirty because yesterday she kept walking underneath my cars. And some people was asking me what I use to keep denim so white. Um, I like to use this. This is from Target. It's like a whitening shampoo. Y'all know how like you tone your hair. You tone your hair um, when it's yellow like your 613 wig. This basically is like purple shampoo or blue shampoo. They have two different ones where you can just tone. I like to use these because they're like deodorizing scents. And then also, I, this is another um, deodorizing shampoo I like to use because they just keep her smelling good. And then I also like to use conditioner. But I don't have much conditioner today, so I might have to use this other one I have. But yeah, I like to use a lot of whitening shampoos and deodorizing shampoos. So I first shampoo her and then I condition her. But I'll probably use the mini and tail today because. Not like this, but she's gotten better over the last few years. You don't have to get out. We almost done. Well, we ain't almost done, but and her little bath, white and shampoo and stuff. Just like and with me, anytime she has like eye boogies and stuff like that, I pick them out. I don't let them sit there. Cause some people do. I, first off, I don't let it sit there because I don't want to look at it. Because she always in my face. And then second off, I think that creates stain as well. But that is one thing I don't let sit on her face. Hey, Dana. And I don't rush her baths. Like, with me putting this stuff on her, I will let it sit, baby. For a long time. Well, not a long time. Maybe like. Come up. I let it sit. Because, you know, I'm just trying to get everything clean. So I definitely over soaked my girl. For sure. And I think today I'm going to cut a little hair around her mouth. So it's a little bit. I was saying I'm watching Flawless Couture because she just dropped her new video on her channel. So, yeah, it's raining too. I'm glad I took dinner out when I did. It's like pouring raining. Okay, so let me go ahead and fix my bed. Hi, baby. Come here. You're just as clean as you can be. Let's show them you. She a little wet. Well, a lot of wet. See how? Mm. Go, Moo Moo. I gotta fix my bed, though. So let's do that today. What you so excited for? Girl, she in here running around. Your towel's over here. Come here. Towel here. So let's put this bed together. Let's get this bed so we can get the knock and rock and boo. Oh my god, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I'm super proud of myself. Like, I really was, I guess, scared to really sit and take the time to decorate my house. So I felt like I needed a, a person. I need to put some plastic sheets on here. <laughs> That's another story. But... I'm super proud of me. I really decorated this room and it gets so many compliments and it's not even done. I mean, it's barely done, but in reality, it's not really done. I'm like, yes. Thank y'all so much for the love and support. Okay. Put that there. We like a night. Tight bed. We run in a tight shit. You say nothing's wrong at all, but I say that.
to go buy clearly more pillows <laughs> more pillows and i feel like i only got like maybe two or three things left and then this room would be completely finished and i would love that for me so yeah that's what's going that's what's tea baby but yeah i feel like everything looks really good okay i just took me a bath come here give me a kiss up here so I'm about to use the little slicker brush to dry her and yeah let's see what it do baby boo hey Moo, Moo come here I'm like girl not today not today not today <laughs> yes today oh my god eat one you okay Okay. Try to take this brush and puff out. Good girl, Denim. Mommy loves you. Oh my God. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Okay, come on. Come here. Let us see you. Good girl. Good move. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, cutie. Come and kiss. High five. Come here, high five. High five. Good girls. Girl, get out your system. You're super cute. <laughs> what she like, bitch? You won't give me. Come here. Come here. Let me see your belly. Come here. Come here. Yeah. You want tweed? I know. Look at my girl. We just got to do the stomach. Once we done that, we done. Don't you move. Stop. Ah, ah, ah. Pick your head up. Stop. I'm sorry, y'all gotta see my child acting like this. Cause she crazy. Look at the pretty baby. I should put you in a, I should put a ponytail on you. Kiss. We love each other. I'm not, I'm not mad at you. Don't be mad at me. Can you see? Now she can see, I cut her eye, eyes out. I'm gonna, I'll cut the hair around her eyes. Look, you can see. You look beautiful. I love the look. This is yours, yes. Ooh, don't lick it now. This is yours. Wanna smell? Look, this is yours. She's like, who the fuck? Is that me? Idiot. Oh my god, you're so cute. <laughs> I told y'all she looks so cute. Say hey. Come here. Come here, stop, and say hello. Come on, sit, and look. Come here, come here, sit. If you go, come here, sit, and look. Look at you. Cute baby. Okay, I'm gonna give you a treat. She like wear that damn treat. Every time I think about you, I when you ride, when you call. It's amazing to me, I can't wait till I see you I wanna be with you again And every time you're out on the road I'll make a trip And whenever I'm doing a show Don't you forget that I'm your major Who got the danger? One in the same the one you can hang with Okay, so we have a bit of a dilemma Because I need a drill bit that is 516 And I don't got it 
so I gotta go out and get one. I'll give me a drill bit, Moo Moo. So them others I got is not the right size. Where's my bag? Make sure I got me a little money. And we're gonna be out. So then the beauty coming over. I need to give me a little bit. I don't feel like going all the way to home depot. But I know if I go, then I'll be able to get two things. Actually, let me, oh, I probably need to go. Okay, I'm on my way to the store right now. But look, my old friend wants to link with me today. And at first I was wondering whether I was gonna go or not, but um, I'm gonna go and see what they have to say. Like, I'm a type of person where like, if I tell you I feel like you're not being a good friend to me and you kind of ignore me or you be like, girl, and then I'll be like, okay, you know, I told you, I see what you do with it. Then I'll probably give you another warning. I'll be like, you know, I don't feel like that this friendship is equally yoked. Like, I don't feel, I feel like I do more than you do for me or something like that. I'm going to vocalize it. But then on that, like, baby, I ain't going to spend the block on no third time to tell you uh, and you grown that you ain't being a good friend to me, especially if I know for a fact I'm being a great friend. And, you know, I feel like a lot of times, sometimes the friends I be having, they can't extend the same courtesy to me. Like, for example, I have somebody right now, and this is the friend I'm talking about, borrowed like three thousand dollars from me but i can't ask that person in return to give me three thousand dollars but i will you know just go along with the flow of you know i just know i can't ask for that but you can ask me for that as long as you pay me back but that's not the issue but it's just the thing of like i feel like if you're not being a good friend of me i'm definitely going to remove myself from the situation because i don't like that kind of stuff and i was telling somebody else the other day too i was like you know i am very very adamant and i had dropped my youtube video on seeing how like i'm adamant on the type of people i'm a date and i'm gonna hold myself to a certain accountability and standards with the people i date but i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna i need i need to start implementing that same thing with my friendships because i feel like at the end of the day like I need to have, I personally am telling myself this, and maybe y'all need to hear it too. I need to personally hold friendships to a higher standard. And I also need to make sure that if we're going to be friends, you have, you're a certain quality of a friend, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, that's just what it is. And I think that with me, a lot of times, if somebody's cool and we can vibe, I just be cool with them. Like, I be like, oh, we friends. Well, I don't be like, oh, we friends. But I just be like, okay, I'm going to hang with them. Okay, I'll do this. I'll do that. Or I'll go here, go there. Or, like, I'll call them. And, you know, because their energy is great. And don't get me wrong. Like, it's. I feel like it's so mixy. Because it's like, just because somebody got great energy, don't mean y'all should be friends to the point where y'all hanging around each other. Because, yeah. So, I have told myself that I had said this weeks ago but um I'm really ne I'm really needed now to go through and see the type of people that I have around me and hold them to a certain standard and qualifications and when I say that I don't know it might sound crazy but I'm gonna be honest I want people that have great energy good vibes got money and also are like you know they just they they doing something with themselves like you know it's one thing to be working a nine to five i get it like i'm not really talking about they gotta be like a six-figure chick but i just feel like i need to reevaluate my friendships and if they aren't aligning with what kind of people i want around me besides them just having great energy like I'm gonna have to like do some shifting because like I said with dating I know what I can attract I done attracted it. I done showed y'all but I feel like with friends now I need to do the same thing and I think 
I had never thought about it that way until like, like I said a couple weeks ago um I was like dang I'm kind of a lot of people are like you know doing this and doing that being weird to me but then I was like you know I was like you know what like maybe it is what it is but no I really need to go through the way that I'm very picky with dating I need to be picky with being friends with females seriously because I don't know I just I need something different I need something new but yeah I've been thinking about that as well so we'll see like if I want to go on a trip with a friend I want them to be able to come if I want to be able to um be creative with a person and bounce ideas back and forth i want them to do that if i i want a person around me that is like spiritual person with me i feel like i can get along with a lot of people like especially with this new energy i'm in now but just because we get along don't mean that we need to be cool so i don't know what do y'all think about that like are you intentional with your friends because like i said with dating i'm super picky super picky so I need to be a super pickiness with the friends as well. I just never thought, I think before I never thought about it like that until a couple weeks ago. But now it's been like really itching at me, especially after I had told y'all um, with my last video about people being weird and situations and stuff, I have to play it a certain way. So I'm like, yeah, something gotta, something gotta do something, you know? I think I might go Chick-fil-A after I leave here. Ugh, please, I just want to turn. Trying to go to Home Depot. Okay, see y'all. I ended up getting a package while I was at my post box. So I'm about to open it so y'all can see it real quick. I made denim a rug. Super cute. For me. Super cute. Y'all see it. Period. Maybe I'll put denims down here with her little her little food thing. She's over there eating too, which is funny. I've been big stepping to walk. Hey denim. You gotta look. She's like, girl, I'm gonna pay a little attention to that. Yeah, get up, move that over there then, honey. Since I'm in your way. I'm put this right where your little food is. That'd be cute for you. You know? <laughs> Go, Dana. Super cute. Go, Moo Moo. Hey, girls and boys. All around the world. I probably have a bit. Okay. So now I got my placement where I want it. Y'all know I had to go out and get that big, big behind thing. I went to the Lowe's. I ain't show y'all when I was in there though. I ain't even need it. It kind of was a waste because I just decided to use anchors I already got here. These anchors are so much more easier to use. So, I just prefer to use these. So, let me record myself. And then I'm gonna take it out. So this is my guide that I'm gonna be using. Oh my God, it looks so good, right y'all? I love it. So now I need to go ahead and cut these out to see which size I need on the fronts. I might not even cover the top of it. I kind of think I like the contrast of it.
Oh. So basically, I've been editing my videos because y'all know I have my new post schedule, which should be Monday and Thursday, but I missed Thursday, so I have to post on Friday. But right now, I'm in my closet because I told y'all I'm going to soaking out to eat by somebody, you know. So I'm trying to get me, I'm trying to figure out what I want to wear. I want to wear something chill. I'm not putting no makeup on. Like, I really don't care that much. And yeah, I just don't. So I think I want to wear this green. I want to wear my donks. They're like army green and white. And then I'm going to put them on with my, what do I want to wear today? Um, maybe this army jacket I got. Hold on real quick. I'm going to go see. Hey, y'all. So, I literally just got finished getting dressed. Look, I done did a little color block, and I don't know why I wanted to do this, but I, did, I can't even get my deodorant on. Honey, I'm on my image verse in Paris Bowl. Girl, let me tell you how that movie got me turned out. Because, number one, why would all that happen on the last episode? If you ain't watched it, don't watch this part. Skip ahead because I've seen it. Baby! Let me tell you something. That was too much tea for me. I was like, oh no. I can't do it. It's too much. Too much altercation. Too much beefing. Too much everything. But you know I made it through. But y'all, I... Suggest if you haven't watched it yet, watch it because baby, it's really giving a key. I was wondering should I put some lashes on, but I don't want to. Like, <sighs> Mademoiselle doesn't want to. Now I watch one Emily and Paris show, and now I think I'm I'm Emily. That's exactly what I think I am. Where's my dad? Cause I'm taking y'all with me. Also, I'm on my way to a day. I'm going on a date. I'm going um, to Tija Moses concert. I'm I kind of like this little white bag because it gives like an extra little. I'm not matching, but I'm matching. That don't work. This don't look right. This do look right. This. This is between these two. Mm -hmm. The white one looks the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one looks the best. Do I have a chain for it? I kind of took the chain out. Mm. It's okay, I'll hold it by hand. Okay, so I'm about to be on my way out, sis. So I will see y'all. The body, Gabby Match Gabe. I want to put my little Burberry elix elixir. Where is it? I done lost it again. Okay. I right, beg. See y'all soon. Shorty got them apple bottom jeans. Boots with the fur. Fur. The whole club was looking at her. Honey, I'm outside because I want to get some good lighting in. Right now, it looks like it's about to be a tornado in rain. But listen. So, um, if y'all haven't watched Emily in Paris, y'all need to watch it because I actually want to talk about it. And I ain't trying to spoil it for the girls. But I'm about to spoil it. Because why would Emily ever do that? Is it raining? Oh, girl, it is. I got my umbrella. I'm not playing these. You know what? I will talk to y'all a little bit later. Because it's raining. I can't even do it. When I can't have you, I only see you. When another man with you. So please don't tell me it ain't right, baby. I wasn't gonna touch his thin lean, y'all, and it was real hard, real hard, but only in the milk. <laughs> Like, I literally did not think I was going to enjoy that much, but it was a very grown lady. Well, I didn't think I wasn't going to enjoy it. I just felt like it was new. 
but it was very grown lady-ish. Period, and I was singing the music. Thank you, Rich. Yeah, that's what they call you. <laughs> and then I got a little surprise for y'all in my bag. <laughs> Now that the coast is not clear. Good, good. Hello. Oh my God. Can't take this hole nowhere. <laughs> Put that. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, how y'all doing? I would have vlogged, but honestly, I left my SD card home. I had went to drop my clothes off so that, you know, somebody could help me wash them. And I dropped denim off too, so she wouldn't have to be at home by herself on a Saturday. So, um, last night I had great fun. It's like a museum party. I thought it was super dope. Y'all should definitely, um, what is this? It was like a museum party. I loved it though. It was super different. So, honey, I was here for it. But right now, since it is Saturday, I have some returns to do because I think I might be going. I got a little mini quick trip. I might. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to let y'all know about that though because I don't want to say nothing and then nothing occur. But I wanted to get a lot of stuff done because on Monday, I might be like peeling out. So, what am I doing? I'm trying to like... I'm going to uh, uh, go to Target, return that broken lamp, and see if I can get something else in exchange for it to match my room. Then my mom, I told her she bought me a lot of stuff from Macy's, and I ain't gonna hold you. I wasn't really feeling it. Some of the stuff. Some of the stuff I was, some of the stuff I wasn't. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna take that to Macy's and try to return that so I can at least exchange it and get something else that I probably would be more interested in for my room. And then after that, that's pretty much it. I did bring this though with me. So that I know. But then also, I gotta fix this because what is this? This is for that lamp. And this is for something else. Put all this stuff up in here if you don't need it. And then, girl, why Paris got us going to a pole dancing class today? I'm like, baby, you wanted us to do something, child. So, we're going to see how that goes as well. I got my little stripper heels in here. I'm going to go straight from here because I got my clothes underneath here. And I think afterwards, we're going to go get something to eat. So, we'll see how that go over as well, too. But, honey, we're over here to Macy's. So, I'm going to show y'all when I get in here. But y'all know they be having all that music and stuff, so we're gonna see. Also, I need to take my little tapings out because I'm kind of over them right now, to be honest. So we'll see. But I'm at y'all. Girl, I would have vlogged it in there, but it was nothing in there and it was playing music. Literally nothing. I should have told them to put it back on my mama card. That's what I should have did. Because. I see that one thing. I do need to go to Target. I need to go to Target. I need to go to Target to be like a Shake Shack, but if they be too busy for me. Oh my god, time for that. But I'm taking me a chill thing. I need to go to the Target though. I won't be doing it today though. I just need to get my pillows. I want to get my pillows, and I also want to get my um, a blankie. I kind of want to get a bath tray or a tray for my bed. Now, what the hell am I put on my tray though? Oh my 
like, do I need too many trinkets? And if I can, I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby. So I can finish all that out. I'll be loving you long time. I can't remember one time I got my hair done and pressed over there in that salon. And then came fully dressed like she was recording a YouTube video. So again, one girl's going to be facing the mirror, the other I'm in her ready to work out. So I just went to this pink on Instagram. I think it's pink pole studio Girl, I was in there giving all I got and it was actually a cool thing But I've been to other pole dancing classes before but I'm not gonna hold you like that wasn't my favorite I feel like if I'm gonna do a pole class like I needed to be more like intimate because with me the thing about it was it was like What was it? It was like 27 girls and then they split us up in two so that's like what? Like 13, 13, or like 12, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. No, it was like 16. It was like 16 or 18 girls in there, right? But they only had like six poles. So then they broke us up into, they broke us up into pair, like pairs. So they partners, partnered us up. And then they kept saying, okay, y'all learn this routine, y'all go sit down. Then y'all go do this routine, then y'all go sit down. Then y'all learn more of the routine, then y'all go sit down. So it was like, literally, we kept going back and forth. So to me, in reality, it was a lot of downtime to me, personally. I prefer to have, like, you know, more, like, on the pole. I had a good time. I had a good time, but it just wasn't enough time on the pole for me, personally. But... Now I'm on my way to Target. Girl, Paris came in there super late and they said that she could not participate because she was past 10 minutes. I said, oh, child. So, we supposed to go again. And we go again, then that's when we gonna just try it again because child. But nonetheless, when I was on the pole, it was actually really fun. So we gonna see, honey. We really gonna see because I've been trying to get back into my workout thing. So I'm gonna do pole, I'm gonna start doing like my twerk classes so I can really get the twerking and I also want to do my workout routine so I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff active on a regular basis cuz I need it but I'm gonna see y'all cuz I don't want my camera to die I think it's gonna die and that's gonna piss me off period <laughs> not period <laughs> hey y'all good morning good morning let me tell y'all some tea and I want y'all opinion on it let me get some tea also 
Yeah, I want some tea. So basically, I'm supposed to be going on a trip, right? Okay, so let me tell you. So I basically was in charge of planning a group activity for me and my homegirls. And literally, um, everybody had certain specifications. Like, everybody wanted their own bathroom for the Airbnb. And their, everybody wanted their own room. Wanted their own bathroom for the room. They wanted, like... Um, a certain distance amount, um, also course price wise for how many days, like all different little things. And I was like, okay, cool. Girl, okay, cool. So while I found a place and literally, you know, I have been, it took me a while to really find a place that wasn't that far away. It was a good area and it was certain little things that people liked about it. Cool. Child, why in the world did, <laughs> girl, let me tell you. Why in the world we went through all that boom, boom, boom. And then next thing you know, we went through all that. Next thing you know, I found a place. So somebody, one of the girls that I communicate with was like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and um, I found an Airbnb. She literally looked up the name of the person with the Airbnb because I guess they got other rental properties. So she went on their website. So when she went on their website, she found out that they had it listed there and other stuff as well. So I was like, oh, okay. So then that's when it was like, she was like, I'm going to see if I can get it cheaper. I'm going to call you back. I'm like, okay. Mind you, nobody had a problem with paying the original price. We was about to pay but She was like, oh, I'm going to try to get it cheaper. She called a guy. She told me the guy her is cool and stuff. Now she his friend. He going to send over a rental agreement. He took all $300 because she told him why should he, she have to, maybe she, she tried to finance him. It was like, why you have to, why should we have to pay the Airbnb Fee. They shouldn't be taking money from out your pockets. Like, we just want to rent directly through you. So, the, he, the guy was like, okay, cool. And he was like, I'm going to just send you the rental agreement and then, you know, send the Zell. So, he had me send over. He was like, send over the hostess address, I mean, hostess ID um, and their email address. I'm like, okay, cool. So, a whole day went by. I never received a rental agreement or nothing from him. And I told her, I was like, I ain't seen, received no rental agreement or nothing from him. Like, boom, boom, boom. And she was like, oh, well, I'm not worried about that. I'm like, okay. So, then another day go by. I'm like, I still ain't received no rental agreement from him. And at this point, I really want to just book it. She's like, no, just wait. I'm going to call him. Girl, she called this man. And he said, oh, my fault. I already rented to someone else. Mind you, he got, I don't care. I do not like everybody having a copy of my ID and my address. And on top of that, I really would have just booked it the first time initially through Airbnb. I didn't mind paying the extra fee for Airbnb because I felt like it was a lot more secure anyway. Even though he is a rental property, I just felt like I can just book it through Airbnb. Girl, when I tell you we lost that whole thing, so I get on the phone with the girl. And I'm like, why would you tell me to wait? I knew something was up when he did not send the stuff over. I knew. And then you're going to... Girl, you got it. Like, I was pissed off. And I told her, I was like, I'm not looking no more. Mind you, she not even going on a trip with us. She was just trying to, I guess, help off the strength. And then I took it upon myself. I'm like, dang, it's kind of my fault now because I should have just booked it instead of listening and just going through with stuff like that. But nonetheless, I feel like she kind of low-key got an attitude with me because I kind of fussed out. I was like, why would you have me wait for two days? Now it's booked. I could have just booked it originally when I said it because nobody had a problem with the price anyway. And... You trying to do the most and save us money, but it didn't end up working out. So, you know, I was just like, what would y'all done in that circumstance if you was me? Or would you have waited? Like, I don't know, but whatever. So I told everybody, I was like, fuck. I was mad. But I was like, fuck this. I'm not doing it no more. I'm not looking for no more everybody. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that because I'm over. That's what my energy was. I'm not going to lie. But then something, it, God came over me. And this morning he was like, you know, I just look up one. So I went and looked and I literally seen an Airbnb. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to book it. I'm going to book it and, you know, I don't, I'm, I don't want to hear nothing else about it. So I went ahead and found one and I booked it. So the trip is back on. But for a mini second, the trip was really off because what was that? You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, um, I am going on a little mini quick trip, I believe. So I'm packing my bags. I'm supposed to leave tomorrow. I got quite a bit of things to do tomorrow, but I'm going to leave tomorrow. I'm super excited. And, yeah, I'm going to get dressed and be cute and hit the city looking all types of pretty. So, I'm just packing my bags right now and picking my clothes out. And then I'm actually hanging stuff up because I got a lot of stuff from Target yesterday. Also, let me tell you why I was in Target. I was like, what is going on? Don't mind you. What I was saying is, if somebody else come up here and ask me for my Instagram, I'm straight going to say I don't got one. Because at this point, why is that many people asking me for my Instagram? Like, literally, they all kept coming up to me. And don't get me wrong, I'm very cute. 
But it's like y'all all work at Target. Like, and at the end of the day, y'all are on the clock. Over here trying to be cutesy talking to me. And I'm really trying to shop. Like, when I'm shopping in Target, shopping at Walmart, shopping and stuff like that. And I ain't had no makeup on. I literally just had a fresh little ponytail sweatshirt, little shorts, and my sneakers. But at the end of the day, if I'm looking for something and I'm really trying to, like, go through the motions and get where I'm trying to get at. Like, I'm not. How do I say this? I'm not trying to look to be talked to. Like, if I'm in the grocery store or a regular store shopping, I really would like to just shop. I'm not looking for nobody to keep coming up to me. So when they all kept coming up to me, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I should be flattered. But a part of me was like, ain't y'all at work? Like, stop asking for my Instagram. Stop asking my phone number. Like, stop asking me for this stuff like that. Because I really want to shop and I really want to value my shopping experience. Like, I was low-key kind of annoyed. I'm not going to hold you. But I said, you know what? I have to learn my last thing. So next time I go into a store... And a bunch of people asking for my Instagram and stuff. I'm going to say I don't have one. Especially if I ain't interested in doing anything with that person. I don't have one. Because it, it wasn't like they would just come over and be like, what's your Instagram? They would be like, oh, hey, how are you? I'm like, I'm fine. What's your name? I'd be like, oh, some whatever fake name I gave. And be like, oh, okay, that's a really nice name. Um, I see your sweatshirt. It really sticks out a lot. I thought it was really nice. This is exactly how he was talking to me when he said, sweatshirt is really nice. I said, thank you. He's like, yeah, you know, I know you can't be from here because you just have a lot of bright colors on and people around here don't wear his bright colors. And I'm like, okay. And then that's when he literally kept going on. And I'm thinking to myself, I want to finish my shopping experience. And I'm on my way to getting out of the store. And you in my way for me not being able to get out of here fast enough. Move over to the side. Like, that's exactly what my energy was. Maybe it shouldn't have been, but it was. Because I was just like, I'm ready to go. Like, be for real but whatever so i'm about to finish packing this closet up i need to hang my stuff up back and stuff come on girl why i got done my new bed and look at her in it she's so cute your mommy loves that you love your new bed look at you she's really looking too mommy i I ain't gonna hold y'all. I really stopped buying her beds because I was like, I don't know if she like them or not. But she actually do be liking beds. I guess it just wasn't the right ones. But girl, she is loving it. Hey, Moo Moo. Girl, look at her looking cozy. It look like cozy as heck. I just want to jump in it. I ended up getting this oil diffuser from Target. Super cute. I think it was like $25 or $30. And then I got two pieces of clothes I want to show y'all. So, so with the two pieces of the clothes I got, I got this shirt. It's like a sweatshirt, but it's like a collared sweatshirt. I actually really, really like it. It was on sale for $21 and it was $30. And um, it is a black owned designer. Her name is Samantha Black. Girl, you did your thing on this because it's super cute. So I cannot wait to wear this. I don't know what I'm going to wear though, but got it from Target. And then I also got this. Y'all know I love stuff that's like sand colored taupe brown just you know big like you know just i guess sand all i can say is or um charcoal or gray so i got these and they're the brush sculpt ultra high rise flare leggings y'all know i've been loving the flare leggings from target but these is like a little bit thicker on the consistent i mean thicker on the material and these go all the way down y'all know i'm five five so they go all the way down like my they cover my shoes up a little bit and I think these was $28. Definitely a vibe. So I'm going to try to link both of them if I can remember. Because I know I always forget. But yeah. Let me tell y'all how I've been up. Uh, good morning, first of all. <laughs> Let me tell y'all how I've been up. Uh, for like three hours, maybe. I have really been just like, I need to do better with my health. Like... I was working out so consistently before my birthday. But then I stopped because everything with my birthday literally was keeping a lot of my attention. So I really didn't have much time to be like working out for real. But to be honest, I should have made the time. I really should have just did it. Because now I'm starting kind of over from scratch. It is glue all up in my hair. 
I'm taking these little tapers out today. So, with that being said, dedication, honey. It is glue all, well not glue, it's hair gel. Oh, it's in my damn hair. But yeah, we gonna see how it go. And I got a trainer. Well, I'm really working out by myself and doing training also. And this gym come with, I think, training sessions as well. So we gonna see. just out of the shower. I'm gonna make y'all understand. I feel really good after doing like my little workout that I just did and my legs hurt. So that's great. I need my core to be hurting that way. But yes, I feel so good as of right now. I still got some running around and stuff to do. My bed, baby. That bed is so comfortable like super super comfortable so as of right now i'm about to make my bed up and then i gotta make a list of stuff i need to do today because i'm gonna be running around a lot and then i think that's pretty much it uh Today drained me. <sighs> and this was becoming a fix my window. Like this window back here. I don't know if you can tell. Can y'all tell? Y'all can't really see it because it's like blurred, but it needs to be fixed. So I have to I had to call somebody out here and get to let them fix my window. take no nap but I low key feel like I want to I got stuff to do today hey so also I forgot I gotta show y'all some stuff that I ended up getting from um Target so let me hold on let me go get it because I wanted y'all to help me but I kind of already picked which one I was gonna pick anyway okay let me show y'all so I'm like super obsessed with like these thick, like braided, I guess, blankets. So I got this for my bed, but it really don't go. Like when I put it up there, I was like, eh, I don't really care for the vibe of it. It just didn't really sell me on that it should be on my bed. You know what I'm saying? 
Actually, let me turn y'all this way. That'd probably be better. Yeah, it didn't sell me on the fact that it should be in the room. So, I decided to pick these, this blanket. Okay. So, it didn't really sell me on the fact that it should be in the room. So, I ended up picking this one. But I really wanted something like this. Maybe just another color, but very thick. So, I'm going to see if I can find one on Amazon. Or maybe home goods. I ended up getting this one from Target. But I love it. What do y'all think about these? Like, these just give me cozy vibes. So cozy. But I think I'm going to return it. I'm not for sure, but I think I am. And y'all always tell me I don't tag stuff. So let me show you. So that one is the hand knitted bed throw. This is what it looked like. And they had multiple different colors also, but this was the one that I ended up getting. Just very chunky. Then I also ended up getting me an oil diffuser. I need to go get some oils for it today because, yeah, I need to go get me some oils for it because I ain't really had no oils. I just had like water in it. So this is the one I ended up getting from Target. It was only like, It was only like $30 and it looks so good. And it's actually right up there on my stand on my ladder right there. So I was like, oh yes, so cute. And then I ended up also getting these pillows, but I changed my mind on them because I don't think they really go with the bed. Definitely not this one. Um, I feel like the, this one could kind of go, but I don't know. We're gonna see. Do it though. I feel like I want something dark. That's why I got these, but low key, these is gray. I need something like a chocolate brown, something honey, colored like that. So I do got these, this pillow, but I don't think I'm gonna keep it either because it don't really go with where I'm trying to go with it, you know? I really just want some decorative white pillows and I also want some decorative. I want decorated white pillows and I also want to decorate this um like brown pillows. I think that'll be super cute. But I'm gonna return these all. These was like $30 of uh, freaking pop at Target. <laughs> Will I say it's worth it? I ain't gonna really say all that. But I just know I wanted my room to look a certain way, so I was willing to pay it, but it didn't work out. And then I also got this blanket as well. And this is this one. Even a blanket right there that's from Target too. So I don't know. But I ended up getting my pillows so much more cheaper because I went to Marshall's and they had two pillows for the price of one. So I got, let me see. I got two of these pillows. Girl. Why well, don't see them if I hear all this noise? Everyone over me. Um, I got this pillow from Marshall's. And it was thirty dollars. I got two of them, so the other one's over there. And then I ended up going into um, Marshalls, and this one was only ten dollars. I was like, "Dang!" I low key wish this one had a match to it because I would have got them both. But this one was like only freaking ten dollars. I was like, ten dollars, so I snatched that up. What if I can go online and find it? It's by Maga Shoni. But yeah, I thought this was definitely it because, come on now, that's a zeal. So I didn't want to get rid of it, so I just ended up throwing that one over there. Where my phone? Bro, why I just watched the City Girls and they Rolling Loud performance 2023. It is on Rolling Loud YouTube. They did so good. It is so good. I was like, oh my god. I was super entertained. I feel like they have came a long way. I feel like they were interactive. You can tell that they are like doing dance incorporations, like all types of stuff. So I was like, oh my God, I'm here for the elevation and growth. So I feel like they can't do nothing but just keep getting better and better and better. Like super proud of them. Super proud of the city girls and JT. Oh my gosh, she showed up. She looked amazing. Carisha looked amazing too, but JT really looked like boom, boom. I thought, yes, period. So, 
This is my stuff I need to do. Baby, I got a lot of stuff. Girl, put your time in it. All your time you need. I'm in a hurry. Honey, this basics haul is gonna be super, this basics haul is gonna be super cute because I really picked like some bomb basics. Y'all are absolutely going to love. Now I am actually gonna probably lay down for like 10 minutes because I really was like doing the most in it. Okay, so I'm about to take this wooden shell finally and cover them over. Cause they was never supposed to stay black. Girl, let me tell you something. If I hire you to do a job in my house and you think you're gonna play with me, baby, you done played yourself. Cause I'm gonna tell you what happened. So while the guy comes to my house, he always, and he really gave me creepy vibes, but I was like, whatever, he here now. He looked at my window. He was like, you know what, I can fix it. I just need to go to the Home Depot and I'll be right back. I'm like, cool. Girl, he left my house at 1030. It is approximately, let me look my approximately, 1250. So my thing is, since you done left, I mean, since you, Home Depot is literally only 12 minutes from my house. At that point, if I knew he wasn't gonna come back, he should've just told me I'm not coming back. But he ain't say nothing. So at a point where I'm, um, if he coming back and whenever he do, I guess we'll do something then. But I was under the impression he was coming immediately back. Girl, I left my house. I have to go to my post box. I have to run me some errands. At first, I have to grocery shop for the week because I didn't. Thinking that I was going to be going somewhere, ended up changing my mind. And then on top of that, I still got to return this stuff to Target, return this stuff to Macy's. I have a lot of things that need to be tending to me that I need to tend to today so no no I'm not trying to go to Home Depot I'm trying to go to Home Goods okay but yeah that's why I'm about to go now I need to look for me some brown pillows and white pillows and then once we do that baby we should be goody. But I do want to try the Macy's out close to here probably. Because that Macy's I went in the other day, girl, ain't do nothing for me. Nada. So who knows? Maybe I'll find something else, not for my bedroom necessarily, but something else. Because, yeah. But I, like, that's what I'm saying. You over here telling me you run into the Home Depot and you'll be back. That don't take three hours. It sure don't. At least give me an update but now you're gonna waste your gas coming back to my house and i ain't there oh well you should have told me what was good you should tell me what was up so i could have made the proper arrangements but yeah i'm gonna see y'all when i'm in the store hopefully i'll be able to record my video tomorrow yes hopefully and that's on her see y'all so right now I am cooking me a mushroom burger. I cannot wait till I think it's gonna be super scratchy. I need to wipe my scratch bone. Way out of the price range. Right. Um, <laughs> move on to planning the trip. Um, and you've got all the responses and all that stuff. Um, what I would do is put a request in to the operator of that country, wherever, you know, you and your audience decide to go. Um, and Basically, I am dropping a link. It will be in my bio. And it's a survey because I'm trying to get like all my information and stuff done um, with my marketing team. And I need to know what y'all thinking about this. So pretty much I want to start 
doing trips. Y'all know I love to travel. So I'm doing international trips, but I'm just trying to plan out and figure out where people want to go, what they want to do, how they want to do it. So click the link and fill it out. That's going to help me know where you guys exactly want to go and how y'all want to do stuff. I'm super excited. Like I just been planning stuff and everything is coming to pass. I feel so blessed. I feel so excited. I feel so like, I don't know. I'm just super over the moon because it's a lot of things that I told you I've been working on. And it seemed like I've been quiet on my business stuff. But I promise you I have not. I just been trying to get my stuff together. So click the link, click the link. And definitely fill out, please, 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 y'all, click the link, fill out your responses, and let me know what you think, and that way it can help me know how to do my thing moving forward. I have an idea of what my audience wants, but I just want to 100% get y'all information, so definitely click the link, let me know, because Buki, we got some stuff to do, okay?